First is we really work hard to support innovators and innovation. So that's the startup community and those that are really trying to accelerate the commercialization of their innovative green solutions, whether it's clean energy or clean technology or uh, you know less technical uh, aspects. The second thing we do is really reaching out to uh, engage all businesses in our economy, not just uh, clean tech or high tech. So that includes the small business community, but also larger businesses as well and helping them clean up their operations and look at different ways to support their employees and, and their plans to uh, reduce their environmental footprint. And that impacts the bottom line in a positive way. And then the third thing, of course, is working really closely with the City of Vancouver. Uh, examples include the Facilities Group or uh, City Planners working on really interesting projects to help uh, reduce the environmental footprint of those neighborhoods, but through an economic lens. You know, there's uh, several primary objectives. We've got um, a great story, and this is a great venue to raise the profile of Vancouver as a city that uh, can attract a lot of green capital, green investors. Uh, obviously, people love Vancouver for its livability, so a lot of talent uh, wants to hear the story as well. So we continue to attract talent, and, and uh, of course, uh, we have a really great functional, or pardon me, we've got a really great um, uh, story in green economic development. So we're working with cities from across the world to share our green economic development practices, but also learn from them on what they're doing to uh, increase green jobs and uh, increase innovation in the green sectors. got several things happening simultaneously right now. So one of them is uh, is establishing a, a clean tech hub or accelerator, an innovation hub. So we're converting an old city police building into a green uh, clean tech accelerator and innovation for sustainability related businesses. We've also got a program for more mature companies that want to demonstrate, want to showcase, want to pilot test their innovations. So they are um, allowed to leverage any number of municipal assets to help them get to market faster as they go through that pilot testing. And then, um, of course, we've got this really interesting project on the Pulse Creek Flats, where we're working with hundreds of businesses right now on concepts such as the circular economy, learning how to take uh, waste out of the waste stream and bring it back into the economy and new products and new ideas, new solutions. So there's um, all kinds of uh, things going on at Vancouver and the Vancouver Economic Commission right now. You know, we have a road from Paris program. So here we are at COP21, but this is mostly about policy and, step and establishing what's next and where we need to go. So we're inviting the world to glow. So the next steps for everyone here is to consider coming to Vancouver. The road from Paris starts in Vancouver at the Gold Conference. The first week of March, uh, we expect thousands of people to converge on Vancouver to continue to work on these challenges and to learn from each other. The world is a rapidly uh, changing place. The population is growing really fast. There's climate change is already underway. So just as you start to get control of one metric, another one emerges. So we're going to have to continue to innovate. We're going to have to continue to find the, the capital, find the talent. Uh, sometimes those can be constrained. But we, as long as we do a good job of uh, marketing and promoting Vancouver, we hope to stay ahead of that curve.